Alright, I was asked by a friend to try and show how I play City Skylines, so I'm going to see what I can do here. This is a map, I believe it's called East Coast, can't remember who made it. Pulled it off the uh, workshop a while back. It's just a simple map, so I like working with it. First thing I'm going to do is unlock everything. I do this mainly because I play with realistic population mod and that gets you start running out of space with that one. Do the normal progression. And while that's unlocking, I'm gonna enable a few settings in TPME. I like the Realistic parking, where you have to provide parking spaces for various buildings. And I like that they can make right turns at red lights. And also go through and make sure it's on hard mode. So, no vehicle to spawn, despawn. Now, I, I don't like having pre-built highways. At least this one's simple, so I might leave it. Um, all these trees are going to eventually get replaced, but I'll leave them for now. Uh, let's see where I want to start. That is always the question. Yeah, we'll start here somewhere. And you know what, I think I'm actually going to get rid of that highway. I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. Just going to use the Move It mod to do that. Lag of it when you try and do stuff with that many things at once. And I know I'm destroying some outside connections here, but... Oh, one's later. Just as long as I keep one alive for now. track we will do manually and I don't get my bulldozer until I build a piece of road We'll just nuke. And since I don't have the landscaping tools unlocked yet, I can just use my forest brush. Alright, that's all deleted. Let's clean this up a bit. I'm to build this a little bit, as if it's a town that grows organically. Struggle to plan them in advance, so we'll go with this. And someday this will be cleaned up into something nicer, but for now, there'll just be a dirt road coming into town. We'll just follow along the coast. It seems realistic and reasonable. Once things start to develop a little bit, I'll probably uh, set up some roads that actually make sense point to point. Yeah, that's good enough to start with. 
Don't have a lot of money to waste on roads, so we'll start with the dirt upgrade later. Yeah, I think this will be a good spot for downtown. Any good little town has a nice crossroads at the center of it. Do that. Ooh, update. Alright. So I'm gonna plop in most of my downtown here and the actually yeah, I'll do it. I run into an issue where a lot of them will abandon depending on how early my city is, but we'll re reset them when that happens. I just want to get... Alright, let's get a few buildings in here so I can figure out what my block size is going to be. Eh, what do we have? Yeah, it looks like it look good downtown. Hmm, maybe we can find something that's two-sided. Nah. Not a good one for him. What I'm looking for... Nah, let's go with the Mac Theater. It's a level... Level one, but usually when I build it, it abandons, so we'll see. It's actually, uh, I forget who made it, but it's modeled after a building downtown in my own city, so I like it. Feels like home. And of course, we gotta have a Timmy's. And let's just squeeze that over. I'm going to do this and get rid of those parking spots. I have a plan for parking on the street, but I'm going to have to upgrade a bit to do that. Actually, let's see if I have it yet. Oh, I do. Spots. Yeah, that'll work. These may get scrambled a bit later when I decide where my block size is going to be, but we'll start with that. Okay, let's use Bob and get rid of those parking spots. That looks better. Tim Hortons next to the Mac. I wonder, do I have that asset? I used to have uh, an asset for Province House. What I do is just locked. Okay. Maybe I'll borrow a little bit from, my, from Charlottetown here. We'll put Province House in this area once we unlock it. So, we need some more buildings here. Level 2, that's going to abandon on me, but it looks good, so we'll put it in for now and rebuild it later. I think that fits nice. You know what, I think I'll leave that little opening, little alley. I think that'll look good. Two. One. 
it's another building from Charlottetown. I'm just looking for some simple buildings that I feel like they would be down a, in a small downtown area. Some of them I'm squishing together with move at others. I'm just kind of leaving them as they plop. Cause you would see little walkways like that, little alleys. Maybe I'll put a little bit of parking in back here. Against that. That's probably a good block size too. Since we're in our street up. Extend this. That up there for a while. Okay. Keep an eye on my money. Some of these buildings cost a plop, and it can get you into some serious financial trouble early, especially since I don't have any residential built yet. Alright, let's put one more building here, something that's got a nice side to it. It's not a nice side, but... Nah. It's not so much better. Nope. Not really. I want something that's gonna look decent. It's gonna have a... It's gonna be a street front along here. I don't have a lot of corner buildings. Yeah, that'll work. Do that. Let's run a parking lot in there. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll move it in a little bit. There. That looks good. Then we'll run our other road up here and connect it to our parking lot. I'm starting to feel like a downtown. Again. Whoops. Not what I was looking for. Parking spaces. Delete. I think that looks pretty good. 
let's fill in this section. I think I'll get rid of this guy. Find something that would look good on a corner. Auto zone? Nah. Ah, slightly too big. Yeah, that won't work. What about a max? Nah, it doesn't feel downtown to me. Uh, I might have to grab something vanilla. Ooh, shoppers. Gotta have a shoppers. Yeah, that'll work. Now let's fill in this and find an, a corner building for here. This could work. We'll just nudge it around a little bit. Maybe up against there. Just like that. That's good. This just leaves the corner. That's not terrible. Let's see if I can make everything around it fit. I think the Guardian's gonna be a problem. If we do it like that and maybe sink it slightly to hide the piece on the side. Ah, I think I like this. Nice. And let's just cover up some of this mess. Do that. Do some detailing on that later. Now we'll just put in the parking spots. Let's put, let's put in some handicap spots first. I think that looks good. Get some on this street. Space. I think they look better angled. Yeah, let's do that. I was going to leave that one until I figure out what I'm doing with that side of the block, but I'll fill it in for now. There. Turn Anarchy back off. Okay. Now we have one block of commercial and not a single soul living in the city. And a bunch of floating vehicles. Alright, let's get some people living here. Let's 
commercially, let's get a little further away and start building some neighborhoods. It's going to be somewhat, not high density, but medium-ish density in this area, so I want to build something a little lower density first. And we'll do this one on dirt roads. Gotta keep a close eye on that money because early on it it gets messy. Let's let's go with six. started I think. Get us the first couple of levels up. Gonna need water. I should get that set up before I run out of money. And this town's gonna have a water tower just here off the main drag. or a treatment plant. Let's throw our temporary treatment plant over here. Just far enough away that it doesn't contaminate our water tower. Hey, okay, we're gonna need power. Throw that next door. We'll build a proper power plant at another time, but There's a lot of temporary going on right now. I just need to get certain infrastructure in place to get started, and then I'll go bigger and better and nicer looking later. Alright, right, let's plop some houses in. This really is a slow way of building, but I find it lets me build much more realistic looking neighborhoods. Yeah, that'll work. There's a couple of them. I like these historic American ones. They look, look similar to the type of houses I see in my area. So I find them believable. And I'm just plopping everything random here. No, some of them are gonna more than one of the same house in the neighborhood, but you look around in most subdivisions, that's pretty normal. I know on my own street, if I go up the street, I'll count four other places built from the same blueprint. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Finish laying this out, I'll 
go a little bit further out of town and build a trailer park. Some nice uh, low residential, just build up our population. And not everybody can afford a mansion. I like these row houses. I picked them up recently. I'm gonna have to build a neighborhood around them. Now, I'm not using any specific building themes or anything here. I just have it set to show me the ones that are three deep because they fit with the grid I built. spamming houses in. Hopefully some of them are level one. I don't think we're going to get anything other than level 1 for a little bit. It'd suck to have the whole thing just abandoned before we get anybody in and any tax income and go bankrupt. stay. Eventually it'll look good. them in, okay. And let's get the power connected. Yeah, that should be good. That's good. Build a temporary industrial park, give them somewhere to work. This is again just something that's going to be replaced with something much nicer later, especially once I get the industries online and start building proper factories. Oh no! Some of those houses were costing us money. Now we're broke. Down to one dollar. Uh huh. Alright. Guess we'll go zoned industry for now. And we'll keep it close so it's still within water distance. cost me money? No, nope. but I can't afford the roads to build it, so we'll get that in a bit. And we're just dropping the budgets and everything, because we are not going to be making a lot of money here. Okay, it's all good seeing people show up. Here they go. Get a little tax revenue. Or go bankrupt. One of the two. There's probably a whole string of them coming down this dirt road here. Well, a couple.
might have to zone some residential just temporarily just to get our numbers in. And then we'll replace that with plop neighborhoods later. Hey, and our little downtown here is going to be struggling for workers. Hey, here they come. Oh, don't be doing that. They take stupid paths. Let's fix that. If you make it slower, they won't go there more. In theory. They're supposed to take the quickest timed route, I believe. Not the shortest distance, so let's see what happens here. And I think their path is set when they initially take off, so... That first wave... We've already had their path set before I changed the speed limit. Let's wait and see if we can get... Somebody come through? Yeah, we're making money. That's good. still going that way. I don't like that. No, there's more traffic light there. Because there should be one there. Let's lower the speed limit even lower. I might be wrong about the pathfinding, but... I've had luck in the past by forcing them into the route I want by using slow speed limits. It's clearly not working this time. There they go. Perfect. That's what happened with the uh, zoned residential. Looks kind of ugly. That looks a little more realistic. I have to come in and do a little detailing, maybe add some backyards and a few more trees here and there, but the density looks a lot more realistic. I think our little downtown looks pretty good. I'm surprised nothing's abandoned. This one usually does because it takes some educated workers, but I believe realistic population, or one of the mods I have, has it so some you get a random mix of people moving into the city, so some will come in educated, I believe. Alright, let's go build that trailer park. Where's a good spot for that? I want it to be somewhat out of town. Let's, let's extend this out. Alright, let's well, extend it out. That should be a good start. This road will probably stay dirt. And, uh, once I start upgrading things. But Let's just get it built. It doesn't have to be too complicated or big, it's just a little trailer park. Curve. Yeah, that should work. Run some water. Snapping off. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Alright, so 
Let's start plopping trailers. Just like the other neighborhood, I'm just kind of spamming them at random. Let's use Anarchy. Get some of these in where I want them. Said, just spamming the heck out of these. Not in any particular order. This gives a nice population boost, too. soon before they start abandoning. This isn't going to be a very nice trailer park because it's not even playground yet. I suppose I have space for one there. That'll work. Do that once we unlock landscaping. I could use Find It to search for them, but. It's a slow road right now. How's downtown doing? I think it's doing okay. Got a bit more commercial demand, a bit more industrial. I don't like my temporary industri industry, but eh, let's. Maybe build a factory. Put it off here, give it a 
parking lot. Nice little assets. They're expensive though. Thirty five grand, twenty four, eighteen, eight, ten, eleven. Well, eight will work. Well, their parking area is a little big for it, but we'll add some more buildings later. As money allows. Go in the parking lot. Alright, I gotta do something with this road. This will give us access to increase our taxes, which will help. These are going to start building some schools and some landfills. Alright, first let's get the tax revenue going. And they'll go to 12 without complaining. And we're going to need some garbage. So unlocked schools, so I think the first thing I'll do is get rid of this zoning. Start, start upgrading my streets. of a city. It needs a lot of detailing, needs a lot more growth, but it's a start. 